All right, so let's do a ribbon chart. To do a ribbon chart in Power BI, all you have to do is go over to visualizations and go into ribbon chart. Once you select your ribbon chart, you get your ribbon chart indicator here. This basically is what the ribbon chart will look like before we add our data. The data that we're gonna add this time is gonna be date. We're gonna also add sales and we're gonna add product category. And we're gonna go ahead into product category and get rid of uh, food and spices. All right, so now we have some data to look at. So in this ribbon chart, what this ribbon chart is displaying is basically giving us the years. So 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22. And then it's going to give us the product category as far as which one had the most sales. And as you hover over each year, you'll see that 2018 beef was a uh, summer sale was 33 bucks. And then if you hover right in the middle in between 2018 and 19, you start to see the sum of sales in 18, then the sum of sales in 2019. And then you start, it starts to give you some of the sales change indicators. And then it gives you the rank in 18 and the rank in 19, and then the rank and change. So the ribbon chart actually gives you some pretty good data. And you can see that throughout the rest of the ribbon chart as you hover over each chart and you see how that data changes as you hover through it. The good thing about the ribbon chart is this is really giving you some key performance indicators as well. And those are, those are some of the things that big business really look for is key performance indicators so that they can see, well, if these things are making changes and the data is changing, then give me some more indicators to let me know what those changes were. So this is a good tool to use as far as seeing some of those KPIs and using the ribbon chart. Uh, other great thing about this is that we can go into format. And if you look at format here, you can say Y axis legend, um and then your ribbons so you can change your ribbon colors here i'll just change this one to a red so you'll see that ribbon color change you can also make some changes to your uh, x-axis you can say a continuous type or a categorical type and you see how uh, that kind of makes an adjustment then you can go into your values and you can try to increase the size change the color so that changes the color and you can just take this down, take that down and you can put your, you can toggle your title on or off. So that's year on or off. And you can also uh, increase or decrease the size. You can also go down to your, go down to your legend and toggle your legend on and off, or you can move your legend from the top left to the top right or to the top center just wherever you desire to have your legend displayed. Another thing you can do is you can come into a ribbon spacing. So spacing gives you a minimum category width and it also gives you a scaling. So now we can kind of increase some of the spacing with the ribbon or decrease the spacing with the ribbon. And we can also change the category width so we can increase the width or decrease the width. Uh, look like the minimum width is 20 here and it looks like just about 28 is as much as it's going to go but it's really not making any changes the last thing you can do here is you can create some data labels so these are these are basically give you some data labels then you can plot a series or you can just do to uh, one of the two you say all you can come here to basically change this to inside or base or that's good here or you can change the orientation from horizontal to vertical and horizontal is to me better and then you can also make some changes to the values here you can just increase the value and you can change the color i think the color is just fine the way it is you can also turn on or turn off the background just depending on what you want to do and if you come down here to color you can change the color of the background to something else you can take that opacity and now you your data labels have a background so let's just get rid of the background just turn it off and now you know how to create a ribbon chart in power bi